Now we have had a wild ride on the stock market today and for the last couple of days we've been seeing a lot of strange things where the market declines rapidly it's then pushed back up it declines rapidly again and what we're seeing right now is a stock market war now remember the stock market is completely manipulated I know everyone wants to believe that this is going down for this reason or that reason but this is a manipulated market it is a tool and they're using it against each other and what am I talking about I'm talking about the central banks the deep state and the Trump administration they are fighting it out right now now they both have their own weapons they're able to control the system uh, Trump administration the plunge protection team the high frequency trading they can try to pump it back up we have the central banks where they can control the market through algorithms uh, by having other central banks purchase stock and right now we are seeing this whole thing play out right in front of our eyes and we're going to discuss that in a little bit later in this report but I wanted to start off here with an inflation alert because what we're seeing right now we're seeing a lot of things happen all at once and we have to remember that with all these investigations with everything coming out now and every time something new comes out we're gonna see a lot more chaos and that's exactly what we're seeing now the inflation alert is because the velocity of money it has finally hit bottom and when we look at this we can see that it has hit the bottom right now now when we look at this we can say all right the velocity of money has been falling all along if we go back to 1995 to 2000 2005 all the way up to the present day we see that it has dropped now the velocity of money the m2 money supply was around 2.2 percent around 1995 we are down to 1.4 right now now of course we need to understand that when the fed was printing all this money uh, for stimulus everyone thought we we're going to see inflation but they were very smart in what they did to make sure that inflation didn't hit now we did see inflation in foods in um, the stock market in housing in tuition because what they did was they offloaded it to all these different re uh, areas now the Fed was out there and they were trying to explain why we haven't been seeing inflation because they were making the excuse that you know people were hoarding all the cash they weren't spending it out in retail and this is the reason why this wasn't happening now the reason why they actually came out and said that is because this is one of the areas that they can't control they can't control people spending their money they can control the student loan debt they can control the housing debt with loans they can control the automobile market with debt with loans but the thing they can't do is get people hired increase salaries and have people spend their money and they kept saying this over and over and over saying that listen the reason why we're not seeing any of this this is why because people are just hoarding their money they're not out there spending it in retail and they wanted people to spend in retail because this would help the economy because uh, 70 percent or so of GDP is people spending their money and the reason why we know this is a lie because the US savings rate is at records low so if people are hoarding their money why is the US savings rate at record lows does this make sense no it doesn't they said this to make everyone believe that this is the reason why this was happening now we see the velocity money it hit bottom and most likely we're going to see this thing take off and we're going to see inflation and we can see that everything is starting to break down right now we see that the stock market came down around a thousand points today this is a stock market war and what we need to look at is gold and the cryptos because if this is truly the crash which I don't think it is just yet 
I think we're going to see this play out for a little while here. We're going to see people rush into gold, rush into silver, rush into the cryptos, and you're going to see that rise. Now, if you see gold, silver, the cryptos taken off like crazy, and it might be the cryptos first, then gold, you know something's up. So if you see gold, for a, a great example, if you see gold moving up by 50, 100, moving up like that, you know something's going on. Now, they might use a flash type of paper crash on gold where they bring it back down and they try to control it during this whole period of time. But you can see that this is some place we need to look. Now, we need to understand that the battle is being waged right in front of us. And we understand that there's a new Fed chair in office right now. And Janet Yellen has left. We have Jerome Powell right now. And if we go back in time, he says, yes, we need to bring the market down. Now, the corporate media is out there and they're saying, yes, we're heading into this bear market. We should panic. And they're telling everyone, you know, this is what you should be doing and so forth and so on. Now, most likely they want this to, you know, clog up the news feed. Will it clog up the news feed? Most likely not, but most of America might be concentrated on the Dow coming down, you know, a thousand points, 500 points, and people will be distracted by this from all the other news that is going on. And we're going to see this play out probably over the next couple days, weeks, whatever. Now, the thing is, we understand that we're going through a transition right now. The transition is not complete. Everything is still in the works. So why would the deep state, the central bankers, want to bring down everything right now? Well, they can bring it down now to stop the transition. Remember, the transition is to move away from the central banking system. The transition is is to maybe go into cryptocurrencies, get rid of the central bank, and set us up for the one belt, one road to join the trade system with China, um, have peace around the world. And again, the deep state, they definitely don't want this. They don't want this at all. If they interrupt it right now, all of this stops. And they can finish their, their transition over to a new system and they might head down this path but for right now I do believe we're gonna see the market move back up come back down and basically it's gonna go nowhere because both of them are gonna be controlling what is happening here and at this point this can go either way at a split second depending on on how everything goes that's why I'm saying watch the crypto market, watch gold, see what people are doing with their funds, see what people are piling into. And once again, even if you see, say, gold move up, you know, 50, 60, 70 dollars or whatever it's going to be, and then it's smashed back down, you know, people are putting their funds into gold and getting out of the market because gold is a safe haven silver is a safe haven and the central bankers and the banking system the deep state they're bringing it back down so people don't notice what's really going on here and you can see at this point that if you are not prepared at this time we are entering entering a stage where everything is going to be in chaos and in the last couple of days you can see how everything is in chaos and once again this is going to continue on and this could come down at any second i'm not saying it's going to at this point but you need to be ready and prepared if it does and we've been talking about the economy because we need to understand the economy is completely done the dollar is being rejected around the world countries are using cryptocurrencies or other currencies dealing outside of the dollar we understand that the velocity of money is going to be picking up we understand that we're going to be seeing inflation because all those dollars around the world are going to come back to the united states more dollars in circulation means 
the currency is devalued, which means we see inflation. So all of these things, everything that we've been talking about all along, it's all happening together at the same time. So if you've been preparing, continue to prepare. If you haven't prepared as of yet, I would get some food, some water, some and some supplies. I would have gold or silver on hand, maybe get purchase a couple cryptocurrencies if you can. I would make sure that I had dollars on hand just in case because you're going to need that in the beginning stages because no one's going to take you know gold you're not going to be able to trade cryptocurrencies they'll just take cash most likely in the beginning as the dollar loses value the cash will become worthless and then most likely we'll move into bartering but we can see right now there are two factions at work here where the central bank the deep state they will crash the system hard and they'll make everyone pay the price for what is being done to them. Then we have the soft transition where we're trying to move to a new system because this system is done. This is the deep state central bank system. Moving to a completely different system would be better for the people because most likely it'll, maybe it'll be a crypto system without the central bank. And they're trying to bring us down easily so it doesn't hurt as many people compared to the deep state and the central bank where they're trying to crash it. So if they crash the market and the market comes down, you know, 5,000, 9,000, 10,000 points, we're going to see corporations lay off a, ma a huge number of people. We're going to see cost cutting. We're going to see people in a lot of trouble. We're going to see credit freeze up. And again, the deep state, the center, they don't care about that. They don't care what happens to the people. They could care less. So we're in this phase right now, in the chaos phase, in this limbo phase where they're battling it out right in front of us. And I wouldn't be surprised if we wake up tomorrow morning, maybe the market goes down a little bit and all of a sudden it shoots back up to, you know, a positive number, maybe even the same number that it dropped because we're starting to see that too, where we're starting to see the sun, the numbers match. It drops by, you know, by 567 points, then it's back up by 567 points. We might see it drop, you know, as it did today by a thousand points. We might see it back up by a thousand points to continually keep the market, you know, on an even playing field. And this is what they're going to try to do now in, in, in the minds of everyone out there. If they see the market go back up. Everyone is relieved. Everyone feels good. When the market goes down, everyone, you know, gets very nervous and terrified. And this is what we're seeing right now. Now we're coming up on the weekend and tomorrow's Friday. And normally what they do on a Friday, they end on a good note. That's what they normally have done in the past. You go into the weekend, you feel good, everything is great. You come out on Monday, well, things start to fall apart again. This time, it's a little different. The Trump administration with the plunge protection team and the high-frequency traders would like the market to be up on the weekend so everyone feels okay during the weekend. The deep state, the central bankers, would like the market to be down now so everyone can feel the pain. They're doing the opposite right now because they're not in full control. So if we see the market down another 300, 400, 500 points, we know the deep state, they have done this. If we see the market up, we know that Trump has gained ground. They're able to use the plunge protection team to push the market back up and we're going to go through this weekend feeling good. And most likely on Monday, the deep state will bring it back down. So let's see what happens here. But we can see we're going to see this play out going through the end of this week, going to the next week. And this is the stock market war we are watching right now. But besides what is happening in the market, the economy is still falling apart. It has been for a very long time. 
the debt levels are too high, people have been losing jobs, the quality of jobs not there, and everything is manipulated. So what we're seeing right now is the real economy, which we've been reporting on, the people's economy, it's still falling apart. That hasn't changed. The only thing that we're watching right now is the signal to let everyone know the economy failed, to give corporations excuses to lay off people, to give banks excuses to go after your funds inside of the bank called bail-ins. That's it. So we're watching most likely the end stage of this unless, unless the Trump administration can take control of it. And we can see right now the deep state, the cabal, the central banks, they're going to do whatever they possibly can to keep everyone looking at the market instead of the news that is coming out. And this is a big distraction game. But no matter what, you're going to need to be prepared because we don't know which way this is really going to go. Listen, everyone, thanks a lot for listening. Be well, be safe, and especially be prepared. Thanks a lot.